Hi, I'm Dina Davidson. I'm the Campus Life Director for Thrive School. We're in our series Fight, which is a series on 2 Timothy. We're in chapter 1 today, starting in verse 13. What you heard from me, keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus. One particular time, I was helping my aunt to wrap some packages. She had a very specific pattern that she needed me to follow. In particular, the ribbon had to be all the same. So I started cutting out the ribbon and I'd cut the ribbon and I'd pull it out, cut the ribbon, cut the ribbon. And I realized I was making one very big mistake. And that is that every single time I cut the ribbon, I started using that as my measuring stick for the next piece of ribbon. And what I quickly found is with each new measuring stick, even though the ribbon was only slightly bigger or slightly smaller, that difference over time equaled out to ribbons being of all different sizes. And my aunt, in fact, made me just start over because she needed them that very specific size. And what she taught me to do is she had me lay out one piece of ribbon and she said, every single ribbon after this is gonna be based on that piece of ribbon. So I really didn't think it was gonna make that much of a difference, but I started doing it and what I found is when I was using that one ribbon as the measuring stick, I was able to have such greater consistency in the size of my ribbons. Why does that matter? Why am I telling you about ribbons? Well, this is really what this passage is about. There is one pattern for sound teaching. We have been handed down one gospel. It is the truth of our faith. And that is why we as Christians are fundamentally people of the book, the one book, which is scripture. Scripture contains the pattern for our lives, the pattern for our thoughts, the pattern for our families, the pattern for our marriages. It's all contained in the Bible. So when we say we are to follow the sound pattern of teaching, we mean we open up the Word of God and we read from it every day to understand the pattern for our lives. So I encourage you, just as Paul said to Timothy, keep the pattern of sound teaching, you also keep the pattern of sound teaching. And what does that look like for you today? If that means opening up the Word of God and saying, what do I need to learn? What is the sound pattern for my life? What is the sound pattern for my thoughts? What is the sound pattern for my, you fill in the blanks. And that will make sure that you are living lives that are consistent with what God has called us to in Christ Jesus.